but you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time Bitches. to celebrate. What? Let <laughs> You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. But she thought I was so a male you are the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. Hell no. That's how they out here. I'm going to leave it alone. I, hey, listen, I almost said something crazy. You hear what I say? I almost said something crazy. They thought Robocop was going to be out here in, in the uh, motel. Like, just slinging dick. That shit is crazy, bro. I don't even know if he got one of those, bro. He got, he, he went under a million surgeries and shit. If they, if they took his dick, that's inhumane, man. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't no way. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You got a mechanical you hand, I got the mechanical dick, you know what I'm saying? What? Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? The sessions could be real helpful, Miss Blanche. <gasps> All right, yeah, I just had some um some gummy saver candies. Only had two of them. In here acting outrageous, bruh. I'm sorry, Fofties. Okay. Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I'm glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or oppose orders of his superiors to fight for a good cause? But an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. 
and that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my Beautiful. computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. Thank you. It's right there on the desk. Appreciate you. Made me feel like somebody. You no, know, it's been a long time since I felt like somebody. You no, know, we did this for me. It's just... I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? I'll open the door. You stay back. Target acquired! Uh, I'm I signing with this. She's not a takes forever for you to be able to take your gun out. Target. Uh, let me show y'all. So we got the we got a new circuit board from the side quest. Side quest called, uh, yo, I got controller drift. I didn't even realize it. Um, I found something about who killed Simon or something like that. What that gave me is a new circuit board, and this here guys, it has full auto aim. I never need to reload, and it still has the crazy rate of fire that we had. Regrouping. So this 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 is ridiculously strong, bro. The gun was already good. Lewis. There was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. We are one! Follow me. to look for another way i will make a way i don't know how you're thinking of making a way but you better hurry this room is getting awfully hot
I'm out here trying to explore in the middle of a fire. Where we at? Uh, trophy wise, I could turret. These other three are you get these automatically from beating story missions. So the only thing we actually have to work for is the hack a turret. And I haven't even run into the turret enemies yet. You found Grumpy. Oh, thank you so much. The sprinklers aren't working. I'm sorry about that. Make our way. Pray and pray. Oh wow! I've seen messes here before, but something like you know what I'm saying. We've made. My nipples is finally itching. starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Track a target's exact location. Use the signal strength indicator in the upper left corner of your HUD. The percentage value increase if you move in the right. Oh, this is how we. This is how we gonna do it. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. 
It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. I'm glad you said that because that's exactly what I have, sir. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicken train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Shit! You're yeah, right. Bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. That was a waste. Alright, so underground is where we can get the turret. Where we can hack it. And I'm, I'm glad I uh, got all the... What is it? The deduction points have, has helped me tremendously because you get all the extra XP. All I needed to do is get to level 6 here. I'm going to max out my combat so I do more damage. And I get that shockwave attack. We'll try to have that ready for the, for the last episode. Huh. Another respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Random as hell. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. Right, we're gonna have to fight in a second. God damn. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, I, I can't see without night vision. Half the time. Half the time. He just died. Oh man. It probably stink down here. For like straight ass. It's not manual. And if I'm not mistaken, once I get one of these boards, it'll be it'll be a uh, full auto, no reload for every weapon. The hell was that? objectives no. I didn't know I didn't know I needed to do that I just figured I'd come back here and investigate it worked out
that. <sighs> Can't seem to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire ocean. What they were up to. Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them. Pray and pray, bruh. Nothing back here? You're kidding, right? Nothing? Skill points for that. Hey, combat up. One more. I'll max that out. My last check, 9.55, three minutes ago. Oh, no, I got to do it. I had to. Dang it, we're all the way back here. Enemy contact. <laughs> Third had a computer right next to him. to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? It looks like the mercenaries are here. I think we're good. Now we can just play till we beat the game. I ain't got to do no extra shit. Only thing I'll, I'll be doing now is getting stuff so we could um, 
keep getting our skill points up. But other than that, though, we are good. Please, don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. I had this nasty dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Oh, wait. You he on that nuke. Get off that nuke, bruh. He on that nuke. I almost forgot something. I had to write that shit down, my bad. What? I'm a professional? I'm out. Professional, that shit. I mean, you can never use too many bullets. See the computer. Damn, what's the point of hacking it? Oh, shit. Run. Can't even run now because of that. They got all that shit. Got mines everywhere. I'm gonna watch myself. I ain't even uh, looking no more. I'm just shooting. around like a Call of Duty player online like a bitch, bro. Get out of here. Lewis, 
I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. Please tell me, in all this, there's a, there's a shortcut out of here. I think it is. I think the door is it. Yes. They did a good job with those, because right there, I really wouldn't have enjoyed walking all the way back to the beginning of the sewers to get out. All right, let's shout to the headquarters then. Seven, seven, seven. Lucky. Lucky, something good's gonna happen. Do y'all feel it? I'd like to say we're done in this area. We pretty much did everything we could. I mean, there are, uh, no, I got both of these gang stashes and the icons haven't disappeared. They need to patch that. Like the game, it is buggy. You would think that the game just came out, but it came out like six months ago. So I feel like the game is still waiting for like a day one patch with, with some of these glitches and shit. Ready, I'm ready. Okay, so according to this, we're going to headquarters now. Hey, Murphy, we've been analyzing the files that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer to catch criminals. I didn't know today's bring your kid to work day. Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. You're up to something. Hey, Robo, could you resolve this issue we're having? There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of Old Detroit to create space for Delta City? I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up.
Over here. Could you help me with these doors? I'm gonna just kick it. I'll just kick the shit. It ain't nothing to me. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. You know, he gonna get fired. Yeah, yeah, this is your last day at the job, bro. Yeah, you, you about to be trying to get cover relief money and all in a second. Bro. You don't got the authority to have me busting the shit down like that in here. I need to reboot the security system. Why don't you clean this? Shut down not only the doors, but also clean this the up in here. Gate. That should do it. Thanks. Y'all are nasty. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. Back to the guard, you see, huh? Yeah. I got this in here and ain't nothing in here, yeah. Simple quick side quest. Excuse me, sir. Have a good day, man. Have a good day. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will do what needs to be done to protect the innocent. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. Alright, I need to Let's do that real quick. This is the, the least secure place ever. Search for the access. It's usually on like a post. Oh. I don't mind if I just come in here and just tinker with your things real fast it'll only be just a minute let me just Always making me do all the dirty work. Why she run around with a camera in her hand, man? I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them.
Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. How may I help you? A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. She can get fired too. This ain't no game about, you know, being a, um, you know, keeping your, your integrity and still being a human clearance. despite dying. This ain't that kind of game. This game is about getting everybody fired from their job. Watch out, bro. I saw that whole scene, the way they treated you. Not on my watch. Going up? You gonna get fired too? Everybody in here getting fired. Y'all are aiding and abetting, man. They gonna send Beautiful, me to the Goodwill Recycling Center and y'all gonna get Shows fired. What Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? You and me together. We'll clean the city right up. Uh, oh, I, I, that's the mayor. Is that him? He annoying this shit. And what you talk about is gentrification, my boy. He gentrifying shit on RoboCop Rogue City. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off unless hospitalization is required. What? There is no one here. What? Look around. See if we're missing something. I could have straight missed that. I could have. Which one is this? Probably 5.1. I didn't. I didn't push that. Up. No, no. I thought that if this door would happen, people just pop in. I, I seen that. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now. Afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a frontrunner in human-machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. This is how I see myself. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife, eternity, today. You don't get these sickos, no more new ideas, man. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. Eve? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you've seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling Afterlife. 
Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man canceled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. Disagree, you said? No matter. Take yourself. I never fall. Uh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. How the fuck you working and you stand in the window with your hands behind your back? Throw you out that goddamn window, man. Watch your mouth, man. Robocop is here. You got insurance, bitch. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never smiles. There must be a catch. He's... Do you think that you have to stop coming down? to the office? You no longer work here. Yeah, somebody got fired and still coming to work, bro. Put your hands up. You are under arrest. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV once in a while. Life's passing you by. As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground. Especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Wendell is still out there. The market will take care of him. With no one to finance his stunts, he'd need an army willing to mindlessly fight for him, and for free. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the Arms Expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! It's time Bitches. to celebrate. What? Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Where'd they oh, go? Well, I thought well, I was going to get to see the bitches. That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, hey! I guess that doesn't concern you. What bitches? And then the cutscene resumed. This ain't even got real continuity, bro. You guys are not even. Because of the tragedy that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about Afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? 
the Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No, stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. the elevator all the way down to the bottom so I can leave damn son stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonov. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Ah. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party! OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit, since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for Robocop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? Hell no. The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so, my machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for Robocop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that Robocop's words and actions have influenced ratings for both candidates several times already. So, Robocop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what, exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you, contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary? I support no one. 
That's surprising. Based on your earlier comments, many people came to the conclusion that you were siding with Mills. But I think we can take your statement as a withdrawal of support. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots! It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. I should've let him kill him. You should've let him kill his ass. What is happening? You should've let them kill his ass. What? All right, we got one of these here. Okay, let's work. Remote. That's what's happening. Not fair! Oh, those UED shoot so beautifully. Too bad they're shooting at me! Oh, my gorgeous UEDs. Such a great product. Why is this happening? Where? Where? Restoring. Remember. No, oh, damn it. But there's another way. We can't control the entrance is through Hall C. I'll open the gate. Just clear the space. A code does it. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it. What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is glitchy. Okay, we gotta get to Hall C. Get what I'm trying to get. Activity. 
having a ricochet bullet. I'm wondering what the hell is I got five uh, heals because you know you started off with three. With all the upgrades, it gave us more. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry, nothing will happen to your brain. And that's the part you cherish the most. Alright, we can kill people. Armor's next. Just anyway, you'll be fine. Pave the way to the depot and don't bother your head with that. We don't want your wiring to burn out. Why is this device here? Alright, I had to reload my save. Like I said, this was one of the things I love about the game is that they do a great job with the save. Okay, before you fight, before you go through this and fight the big robot, come into this little room here. To the left, there's a new circuit board sitting in this drawer. Okay. Come into this room, there's a chest, so it's literally right next to it. You're gonna go through there anyway. You have a little recharge station right there. So, what I just got was this. This is a new circuit board right here. This is what we have. Only thing is, some of these nodes will automatically be activated if you try to hit this one. So, um, I didn't feel it was worth it for me to get massive damage and get no crit and then have a 30% penalty on all my stats. That's the issue with this. If I were to take this off, you know, like the perk that you pay for, um, you pay a lot to get whatever yellow perks are on here. See the difference? Oh no. 
I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get... The... Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake! Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. I think he's so smooth, man. He's out there moving around like Brother Numsi. It was like a handful of guys. I fucked them up, bro. There's gonna be more down here, though. Ah, there we, here we are. Glitching ass. Mercy. Murphy, we have to fix you. Mercy comes first! Erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip. OCP implanted in your brain? The one that was supposed to help you. It served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh. Now that's a visual. But, since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Nice. You're leaving us again? Uncle? My dear sweet brother Noomsies! waking up oh no what do we do Murphy. 
Stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags! What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. Can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? How is he out of jail again? No. But whoever did, they'll then you just go to jail for, for for drugs. How he keep getting out? What the fuck is going on around these parts, man? Stay tuned, man. I think we're gonna have a finale here in the next so episode. You've been Murphy's substitute partner. The whole series will be. I guess it's gonna be amazing, man.